Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video and another one from Hobby Master here from the 172 Air Power series. We have an F4 Phantom from McDonnell Douglas, of course, and this particular one is a F4D and it's from the 480th Tactical Fighter Squadron. It was also nicknamed the Warhawks and was actually first activated during World War II as the 480th Bomber Squadron Flying B-26 Marauders. The squadron would go through many periods of activation and deactivation over the years as per usual and it is currently still active as the 480th Fighter Squadron Flying F-16 CJs and is based in Germany actually. And the subject of today is one from... When they were the 480th Tactical Fighter Squadron, I did buy this brand new, as you can see. I got it from uh, Metro Hobbies in uh, my my state. And uh, this is the one that was um, from the Vietnam War. So it's from when they were based at Phu Cat and, uh, in 1969. And this was actually the first squadron to shoot down a MiG-21 in the Vietnam War. And uh, it's no good in this box. We'll get this Phantom out of the box and have a real good look at it. So here it is out of the box. As I said, I did get this new, although it is does seem to be an older one because it, it actually comes with some instructions. And uh, they are quite quite big instructions. Uh, last, my newer Hobby Master ones don't seem to come with instructions, and this one does. And I, I have only just put, recently purchased this one uh, probably a, f a few uh, weeks ago, and we'll get this open. And it was sort of on special. I got it for 100 and, 165 I think it was. Got to pop this out and have a little look at it. See, move this packet out of the way. It does come with an assortment of uh, uh, ordnance that uh, you will have to fit on. You know these Vietnam Phantoms. They uh, they do have an uh, an amazing amount of ordnance that they did carry during that conflict, and of course the Hobby Master stand. But we will jump right into this Phantom and have a look at these details. Uh, this is very nice. Uh, as I've said a lot of times when I do do a Phantom, I do have a lot of Phantoms. Um, I currently have about 13 to uh, go through. So this is um, this is an earlier one from, as I said, 1969 in uh, Phuket. You've got to be careful how you say that one, I suppose. We'll go around the other side and have a little, little close look. The tail markings are really nice. The finish on it is fantastic. It's, it's Hobby Master. The... These, these Hobby Master Phantoms are absolutely gorgeous. I'll try and get a closer look for you. Of course, this, this one does come with the option too to have the canopies open. The detail inside is fantastic, as per usual. There is a lot of detail in there. Same with it's got the armoured glass on the front. It's just really nice. This is fantastic. Yep, you'd definitely be happy. Grabbing another Hobby Master Air 4 Phantom, that's for sure. We'll turn it over and have a little look underneath. Obviously, the nose wheel will go there, the uh, landing gear in there, the stand option, or maybe a, a fuel tank will go there, depending on what ordnance we have. And of course, all that ordnance will be <laughs> under wing here, and uh, that's going to be the fun job to do. And uh, oh, well, we might as well get stuck into that and uh, do that fun job right now. So uh, we'll be back in a second. We'll kick this Phantom out and uh, be right back. So I'll just quickly show you the ordnance. This is the center fuselage tank you will be putting on. A uh, complement of four air-to-air -air missiles as well. And one of these goes under each wing. Uh, has uh, two sidewinders and uh, three uh, bombs. They go under each wing. And a set of these go under each wing as well, which contain uh, six bombs on each rack as well. So <laughs> let's kit this Phantom up. It does come with these spare, which you do not use. So you can chuck them in your spares box. And here we have it all kitted out. <laughs> It's, it is fully laden. This this comes up fantastic. And as you can see, all the ordnance goes on there beautifully. Uh, it was very straightforward. Everything's slotted in nice and easy. Uh, you have to be pretty delicate because you don't want to break some of those bombs off the racks or anything like that. Uh, landing gear just slotted in beautifully. And then you just had a little door to put in here. So you just drop that in and then a little door. And every other missile and everything like that just drops straight in. Uh, the same with the front nose wheel, you just put that in and then uh, a little gear bay door there and that's job done as well. And so that sets up a treat. This thing looks awesome. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, turn it over and hopefully nothing drops off. So uh, look at that. That is that is tough. This Phantom is insane. Yep. I love this one. This is really nice. This is 
this is fantastic. All ready to go for some uh, nice, nice bombing runs. It's uh, it is a well equipped Phantom. This one, this this does come up nice. This looks beautiful. The paintwork on it's fantastic. I do not have a problem with this at all. And that ordnance setup, it is killer. That looks great. And I reckon this is a this is a tough one. This one. I love this uh, Vietnam era camo scheme. I really think they come up really nice. Hopefully you guys do agree with me as well. But uh, yeah, that this is it. So uh, I'll put it down on the deck. Success. We'll zoom in a fraction. And uh, yeah, I reckon this is another another tough looking unit for sure. This 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 is definitely a tough looking unit. Um, this is once again by Hobbymaster 172 Air Power Series. It is the McDonnell Douglas F4, or well, F4D to be exact, Phantom 2. And so this is from the 480th Tactical Fighter Squadron from the United States Air Force, as based at Phuket in 1969. I reckon this is fantastic. I love it. I love this one for sure. Hopefully you do agree with me. And if you do agree with me, and if you like the video at all, hey, throw us a bit of a thumbs up if you can spare those couple of seconds. And if you have yet to subscribe to my channel, feel free to do that as well. So once again, I grabbed this brand new. It was uh, around $165. It was on uh, sort of a little bit of a sale. And I got it from a local online seller, so I reckon it wasn't too bad a price. So I'll take some photos of this Phantom, and I'll enjoy doing that, and I'll pop them up at the conclusion of the video, which is winding up right now. I, I want to thank you once again for spending your valuable time in watching another one of our videos. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.